two videos for you. This video is going to be theory. In the next video, we'll have a demonstration of what I've dis I'm covering in this video. In tube amps or any other amplifiers, you're picking up noise. And the whole reason for an EMI shield is to stop the noise, to stop the buzzing. There are other sources of buzzing that could be remedied very quickly. And one is installing an RF filter to stop the stray capacitance. And by RF, that's radio frequency. So what are the sources of these radio frequencies? One is the CFLs, or the compact fluorescent lamps, and other fluorescent lamps. That's fairly well known to most guitarists and musicians. Those things just cause a problem. But why do they cause a problem? Well, there's two frequency bands that they emit uh, radio frequency to. One is the 40 to 50 kilohertz range. Those are radios used by construction or municipalities. Normally that is not a problem. And for most guitar amps, that isn't a frequency that they're tuned to pick up. However, uh, at 159 kilohertz, an AM radio station, our guitar amps are perfect for that. They are basically AM station receivers that we've taken out the front end preamp with and just stuck in our guitar uh, instead. But they still pick up the uh, that frequency band. It's a problem, and here's why. So what, what can you do about that? One is you can get rid of your CFLs and fluorescent lights uh, in your house, and that's maybe easy enough to do, but not at a venue as you're playing with. Or you can install LED lamps. Those do not emit uh, radio frequencies or install incandescent lights. Good luck with finding those anymore. I don't know. I've got some. They're treasures, but, you know, you can't buy them. Or you can install an RF filter. Why do we in install an RF filter? Well, I need to discuss, first of all, what does a capacitor do? And, and a capacitor is one of these. You, you, you've seen them, you know what they are. Uh, little discs, strammer, or they could be big. Uh, there's all sorts of, I've got parts all over my desk here. But this is a capacitor. What is not normally known about that is a wire can be a capacitor too, because it is a conductor and a shield. And the, and the covering to the wire, this little bit from here, has a capacitance to, to it. So a capacitor is something like this, or a capacitor itself, that has a high, it has a high impedance to low frequencies, 50 and 60 hertz, it doesn't pass them so well. It, it, they block DC current, which is why you use them in tube amps, because they, they'll isolate the various preamps. And because at zero hertz, it can't pass uh, current. However, at radio frequencies, or things that frequencies we pair a guitar and bass at, these have low impedance and they'll pass that signal. This will pass this signal. This will pass this signal. I point this out for a reason that you probably don't understand what this capacitor is. Between my forefinger and my thumb is between 1 and 22 nanofarads of capacitance. When you touch your bass or your guitar, you're introducing capacitance to the circuit and it interferes with the tone stack and it will sound like a buzz coming through. Sometimes you've added enough capacitance, the buzz goes away. You touch the strings, no buzz. You leave the strings alone, the buzz come back. Why is this important? This is because on a Fender tone stack, the bass adjustment, the capacitor in that bass and, and knob is 22 to 47 nanofarads. This much capacitance. That's why you'll hear a buzz in your guitar. So stray capacitance does the same thing. Uh, anytime you have two wires that are close in proximity or you have two wires that you touch, you've interconnect the signal from wire A to wire B through touching them with your fingers. That is stray capacitance, which is why an RF filter would be good to have. So on the bottom left of your screen is uh, a, my guitar 
a cable and a signal cable to an effects pedal. When you touch the two together with your with your fingers, that the amp buzzes. In fact, in this example that I'll show you in the demo, you actually pick up a radio station. But you're not hearing a radio station, and people would immediately think that's not the problem because there's no AM radio stations anywhere around my apartment or my building and so on and so forth. That isn't the problem. The problem is straight capacitance because on the bottom left I've touched two cables together or I have a jumble of cables. I know your stage that you play on is perfectly lined out orthogonally and none of the cables touch one another. But that mess of cables actually introduces straight capacitance and an RF filter will keep that straight capacitance ending up in the guitar amp as a buzz. The circuit for a low uh, pass filter or an RF filter is shown in the bottom right of your screen. A 1K resistor is not going to drop the signal, hardly any at all. In fact, it will clean up a lot of buzz in itself. It's like putting in a ferrite bead. And then the 0 0.001 microfarad uh, capacitor, as you see there, signal in, signal out, you, you range it like this, and it starts filtering from 160 kilohertz down, which typically will stop the buzz in your guitar amp. In the next video, I'm going to, I've got an excellent demonstration of what that is and using this particular circuit to stop the buzz that you're hearing. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.